What's up guys, it's Deb Creations here, bringing you a new playthrough. Um, this time we're doing a game called Nelson Tethers Puzzle Agent, which is a point and click puzzle game. And I'm basically doing this because the sequel just recently came out and I love puzzle games, even though I get, I, um, I'm pretty bad at them, but I love playing through them and we're going to be playing this because I wanted to play I saw it the sequel and I wanted to play that but then I saw that the there was a previous one obviously and I want to play through this as well uh, obviously you can see this is a not a intense graphic uh, game it's all 2D cartoony style pretty much and yeah it's obviously it's a puzzle game so it's not about the graphics it's about the puzzles and we are a puzzle researcher apparently for the FBI I don't know why the FBI has a puzzle research department but uh <laughs> Whatever. Obviously, we're bored in our thing. No works come in, and no. There was a hand. <laughs> okay. Why is there an astronaut? He's writing something down. What is he gonna. Are we going to see his face? Nope, I guess not, but... <laughs> looks like it was a scary face. But it was a dream, I guess. Nelson Taylor's crossword puzzle has been ripped to bits, but is there something written on it? Oh, maybe it wasn't a dream. Nope, there's, there's definitely something written on it. Unless maybe just in his dreamy... Uh, I don't want to grab that. No. No, this one. Thank you. Maybe in his dream he wrote, it, wrote this down himself. Don't know. We'll have to wait and find out. Uh, that one down there. And the one there. Scodgins. Okay. Is that a person? Is that a place? What is it? Cracked cr crossword. No hints used. No wrong answers. Ten stars. Nice. Oh, we're finally getting some work. <laughs> Puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's it's just it's been yes, quite some time. Uh huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh yes, the White House needs its <laughs> okay. erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Where are we going? Wait, where? Scorpions. Really? We are. That's weird. So we're off to Scorpions to... Look at an eraser factory. That's pretty random. Pretty quiet place by the looks of it. Except for this scary looking dude sitting on a bench. Okay. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Minnesota. 
Population, 754. Temperature, hmm. <laughs> cold. It's cold and not <laughs> much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ... In thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. Hopefully this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> yeah, he looks a bit scary. Agent Tether's out. He's got the hairstyle of that guy I have from no Tekken. no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. <laughs> I'll stick a picture of him. Who I'm, who I'm talking about. Um, over the video. Excuse me. I'm Nelson Tethers with hairstyle. the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Puzzle Research. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yeah. Nice to Bjorn. meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Okay. Boy, those I bet he did it. Sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Whatever happened at the eraser factory, he yeah. did it, I bet. <laughs> I don't know what you he would have done, but... to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Two traffic lights, okay. Nelson's snowmobile is sliding along the roads. Arrange the logs to help Nelson bump his way to the hotel. Make sure to pass the traffic lights Bjorn mentioned along the way. Okay. Uh... Okay, that's pretty simple. Basically, the angled logs, whichever way the log is pointing, so it's pointing towards that way, so that's the way he's going to go. Uh, so we need to go down there. Obviously, that way. And then back back down. There. Yep, that seems right. So we don't need to use all, all the parts, obviously. There we go. Approved. Well, accepted. Same thing. No hints used. What is that picture for a hint? It looks a bit. Is that scrumple paper or something? Kind of weird. And we're off. But the scene's not changing. Okay. Why are we back here? Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh. What? I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> Welcome. What a dick. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me this was the hotel? Uh, factory. I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Surely it says hotel outside it? the building. No. Uh, on the front of it. But oh, whatever. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Oh yeah, but I'd do that. Seen any Help me get a room? people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Asks lots of questions. There's a stupid <laughs> Thanks for hey. the tip. Yep. He's talking about me. You're looking that suspicious. With your scary haircut. Discovered and a scary sense. face. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. <laughs> Yeah, it seems a bit pointless. It's nothing to do with the eraser factory, so leave it alone. Let's 
scary names. It's a bit uneven though, isn't it? Two on the top and three on the bottom. What's, what's that? Whatever. Oh, there's a puzzle. With well, the gnomes. These are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Okay. Uh, a ceramic gnome has disappeared from the hotel display, but which gnome? Identify the gnome in Martha's photo negative that doesn't appear in the display. Okay, so it's a negative, so it's flipped over. And the colours are going to be opposite, aren't they? Yeah, obviously, since they've got black faces there and they've got white faces there. So it's, yeah. Colours are opposite, so we've got three reds, which would mean three greens. And then three, two greens, which would mean, and there's three here, so it's got to be one of these reds. Okay, and we have one facing left and one facing right. Got one facing left and two facing right. So it's got to be one of these two. Okay. So wait a second. Uh, we flip that over, so it's going to be obviously this guy we're looking for. Which he has his arm down, which is that one. So that one's the missing one. Yeah. That was pretty easy. Did I get it right though? Yes, good. <laughs> I don't want to be failing at these puzzles this quickly. So, uh, good. Well, I know well, how. So one of your gonna... gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I bet that weird guy, this guy, nicks it.